Hi, I'm Serafina. Welcome to Enchanted Mirror Tarot. And today what I'm going to do is this is a thank you video. I'm going to be drawing one card for each zodiac to kind of just give a little bit of extra insight before the end of the month. And also, um, I'm going to be talking today about a giveaway that I'm going to have because I just reached 500 subscribers. Thank you all so much. That's awesome. 500 subscribers. That's more than I ever like imagined. Um, so I'm going to be doing a giveaway, plus I'm going to be reading these cards today. So please stay tuned. If you haven't already, please uh, hit the subscribe button and like this. Also comment and let me know what you'd like to see this channel become, like what you want to see from this channel, um, what you're, um, what you're anticipating, like if, if you want more nature shots, if, if you like where we've been heading so far with the channel, you know, give me feedback so I know where to take this. So yeah, please leave a comment. Alright, uh, <clears throat> so first let me talk about the giveaway. I'm going to be giving away a free private reading. Um, so when you comment and let me know what you want out of this channel in, in the description box below, in the comments below, um, on the 30th, which is next week, I'm going to um, go through and write down all of the names and then do a drawing. And one of those, one person who comments on this video below is going to receive a free private reading from me. Um, so that's exciting. Let's uh, let's get started with pulling out, and this is the energy oracle. All right, so give me one card for Aries. One card for a little extra insight on Aries. Okay, so I have the second chakra, Archangel Ariel. So that's telling me that Aries needs to work on your sacral chakra which is your, um, the seat of your emotions and your sexual health. Um, you're going to need to watch sunsets, get out in nature, get in touch with your emotions, process your emotions, um, be comfortable in your sexuality, take time for yourself, eat orange foods like yams and carrots, that will really help your sacral chakra. But I see overall Aries are having issues with their sexual health and their emotional health, which is the sacral chakra. Uh, the root is what ties us to the physical world and the sacral chakra is right above that. It's the color of the setting sun, it's orange. Okay, um, give me one card for Taurus. One card for Taurus. Taurus, please. Okay, the thinking woman. So Tauruses need to take some time in self-reflection and to think about where they're heading next. Don't just jump into anything. It's a time of transformation. It's a time of a metamorphosis. It's a time of contemplation. It's a time of reading. It's not a time to just jump into anything. You need to take time for yourself and you need to really think things through. One card for Gemini, please. One card for Gemini. One card for Gemini, please. Alright, it's giving me two. I have the thinking man in reverse and rest and rejuvenation. That's telling me that you're thinking too hard and you need to take time for a meditation. Um, for yourself to do like spa days and quit thinking so hard That's what it's telling me. It's telling me that you're thinking too hard and you need to take time for yourself and to meditate and just empty your mind instead of Instead of taking so much time to think things through like Taurus needs to Gemini needs to do the exact opposite and do some mindful meditation and just empty out your, your mind so um, after Gemini, we have Cancer. One card for Cancer. Cancer, please. All right. Um, so indecision fell down here. Real quick. All 
All right, so I see that there's some sort of decision. You have two ways that you can go, Cancer. And uh, it's telling me one leads to victory and one leads to a man that holds your heart. Now this man, it doesn't have to be romantic. It can be like a son, a father, any, any man that you love. Uh, so there's one path and it's to the unknown. It leads to victory. The other one leads to a man holding your heart and there's indecision about which way to go currently. It's a crossroads. You're at a crossroads currently. But either way you go, it's going to end up beautiful because one has victory and one has a man holding your heart. So whichever path you choose to take, it's going to end up beautiful. One, it, it leads to more of a, um, like, it being to yourself, like, like staying with yourself. The other one leads to a relationship. So that's a personal decision that you're going to have to make whether you want to be in a relationship or not. But I do see relationship potential there. Major relationship potential there for some of you. All right, so after Cancer, we have Leo. Oh, isn't that funny? Look, so we have the Angel of Strength, which is Leo. Look at that lion. And Blossoming Abundance. So it looks like you're, you're not using your inner strength currently. Um, you have the potential here of all of this blossoming abundance. You have this inner power that is it's essentially you. And it's there uh, for the taking. But you're not using your strength and that's causing you to lose out on abundance. Um, we can easily just reverse this. And you need to channel your inner Leo, your inner line, your inner strength. And then you'll have all the abundance. Anything that you want is there for you. It's just all about you coming into your own power. All right, so Virgo, one card for Virgo. Okay, so I have the door to spirit. Um, it's just opening up the door and letting hope and love and peace come in. It's there for you. It's in your grasp and you're getting it. This is a fantastic card. You need to get in touch with your uh, crown chakra, your connection to the source of all that ever was and all that ever is. Um, but I see that you have that and there's peace, hope, and love there. So that's a beautiful card to get Virgo. Uh, Libra, one card for Libra. Card for Libra. Card for Libra. Okay. Libra also got the door to spirit. Let's see. Let's see. One more card for Libra, please. One more card for Libra, please. Okay. All right. So we have the door to spirit, which is all about peace, love, happiness. And then I have the man holding the coin. So it's a man who is in charge of the finances, um, could be a boss, could be a father. And then we have the fish chakra, Archangel Gabriel. So you're not communicating your truth here um, because you're, you're open to outside influences, but you're afraid of this man who's holding the coin could be a boss, could be a father, um, and you're not speaking your truth, and that's causing issues in your life, so you need to speak your truth. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, Scorpio. Scorpio. One card for Scorpio, please. Scorpio. One card for Scorpio.
One card for Scorpio. One card for Scorpio. Okay, I have the Temple Path. So this is all about um, taking time to get in touch with what you truly believe. Um, your your religion, um, doing spiritual exercises to really get in touch with the source, the uh, prana, um, taking time out for reflection, for meditation, um, going for walks, being out in nature. getting in touch with all that is. Let's do Sagittarius now. Sagittarius, one card for Sagittarius. Ooh. Okay, so the Magician and the Mirror. You got the Magician and the Mirror. So in the Magician's hand over here, there's fire and Sagittarius is all fire energy over here we have water energy water and fire do not mix but the magician sitting there he's the alchemist and he's balancing the scales he's balancing out the fire and the water and he's be bringing forth um, abundance he's he's infinity uh, he never ends he never begins he just is and he is drawing all of the power of the universe to manifest into reality exactly what he wants. And that's what you're doing. You're in the process of manifestation. You're balancing out and you're using the elements. And even if elements aren't dignified and don't necessarily go together, you're still finding a way to bring them together. So that, and you're making it work. All right, Capricorn. Capricorn. Yin and yang, but it's in balance. There's an imbalance here of power, an imbalance of elements, an imbalance of everything. Um, everything's just out of whack. You need to get yourself in harmony. You need to do some chakra meditations. You need to get out in nature. You need to exercise. Um, and you need to just spend some time with you and just get yourself back into alignment, back into balance, because right now you're out of balance. All right, Aquarius. Inquire for Aquarius. Nice. When they fall like that. Okay. So Aquarius is going on a journey. You could be traveling. Um, I always see this as the past. So it looks like Aquarius is kind of stuck in the past here. Um, they have their bags packed for the future so that they can go into the future. That's where they're traveling to, but they're still looking at the past and they're really stuck in the past right now. But they do have a bright future ahead of them, but it's kind of unknown. Um, it's, a, it's a, you know, faith and it can actually be traveling in an adventure that you're going on. Right, and then Pisces. One card for Pisces. That would be us because I am a Pisces sun, ascendant, Venus and Mars. One card for Pisces. Okay, so we're not thinking either. So we're just like Gemini. We're not really thinking about anything. Um, we're not using our heads. We're we're just, uh, we're not focused. There's a lack of focus and we're kind of in a fantasy land right now. Um, yeah, there's a lack of focus. We're in a fantasy land. We're not really thinking about much. Okay. So, um, signs, I hope that you like that. Be sure to comment, like, and share this video. And thank you so much for all of my subscribers. I love each and every one of you, and I really appreciate all of you. And there's going to be a lot more content to content to come. Um, a lot of big things I'm planning on bringing to this channel. So um, thank you so much for making me a success. Have a wonderful day.